Good day everyone, this is mission number 10 of Sniper Elite 5 and what we're doing is going to take out the main target in a particular way. We're going to use the bottle to kill him. Uh, I'm just running here quickly, sprinting to avoid the guards before they see me and I'll explain in a moment what I'm doing but yeah we're going to take out that main target using a bottle but not only that, we're going to take out any other soldiers in our way with bottles as well. So not using any sniper rifles, no pistols, no submachine guns, just using the bottle only. Okay so just approaching here, the tall grass to hide or to get in some concealment because up ahead by the building there's a soldier there he is using binoculars to see him so yeah gonna use the bottles only to pretty much uh, knock out the soldiers that are in the way and then use it to kill uh, Hitler okay so that soldier up ahead has just turned away from me so I'm just walking this way going into some tall grass again and if I choose the bottle Aim for his head. Cool, we knocked him out. Okay, just gonna quickly go and hide the body. I uh, can see there's another soldier further up ahead by the tree. Strange enough, he doesn't notice anything, but uh, we just hide his body in the tall grass. And we're gonna run over this side. One thing I found strange is that when you knock out soldiers with the uh, bottle, sorry, when you throw the bottle towards the head, you knock them out so they become unconscious. But if you do the same thing against Hitler, you kill him actually, so. Kind of weird, but uh, oh well, maybe he's got a weak head or something. Anyway, uh, this other soldier here, facing away from us, aim for his head. Nicely done. And now I'm just going to grab his uh, body, you can see, carry it unconscious, so definitely be knocked out. Uh, I'm just going to hide him. Uh, I'm going to run over here. I'm just going to hide him over here, and then also um, take a look at uh, what we've got to deal with once uh, Hitler arrives in his convoy and also he's also got his uh, other like bodyguards with him too okay so this is a bit of a little cliff ledge that we're on you can see there's the main building or the tea house to the right small shed to the left uh, and as you can see like the stairs there so when Hitler arrives he'll walk down the stairs um, he's got two bodyguards or two soldiers with him they don't go down the stairs they just stand at the top of it and uh, kind of like guard but they're not facing him so yeah kind of like a slack bodyguards um but uh, yeah we just wait for the convoy to arrive I'm not sure exactly when but we just wait for a bit now actually there's an other soldier that we saw that's uh to our right a bit we'll go back and deal with him now okay just uh trying to things behind this wall or not wall so what this rock face there it is you can just see him on the left there um trying to get an angle on him Nicely done. Okay, so just gonna grab him and uh, put him away somewhere. In hindsight, didn't really actually need to do that, um, but oh well. Now at this point, I'm not too sure whether the convoy has arrived. Uh, sometimes it can glitch where they're still stuck at the main building. So just running back to actually see if they have arrived. Hopefully they have, so I don't stuff things up. Oops, got stuck on a rock there. Uh, oh, I can just see the top of the staff car on the left, but uh, oh, yeah, there's another guard here. Hopefully, it doesn't turn this way. But uh, if you look around to the left, there you can see his uh, staff car with the motorbikes that uh, escorted him. Okay, so we know that uh, Hitler has arrived, and we're just gonna run back to where we were on a little cliff ledge. A lot of sprinting today. Okay, so a bit of a wait here. But uh, if you don't know what happens is that Hitler wants to go for a bit of a stroll by himself. So he kind of tells his bodyguards to um, let him be, um, like don't follow him. Uh, he goes down the stairs, uh, he walks towards the fence, you can see in the background. And then kind of stands out, leans on onto it for a bit. And then uh, there's a chair or a bench seating um, behind the tree. A bit hard to see from this angle, but it is there. And um, he goes there to read a book. So, okay, you can see that Hitler's walking down the stairs. He's got the um, the two bodyguards. So they're facing away from him. So, as I said, they're kind of a slack. <laughs> they're not paying attention to him. Uh, not very good Not very good bodyguards in hindsight. There's another soldier there you can see at the back there. Closer to the tea house. There's got to be rear of him as well because 
it might see you, but uh, if you're stealthy enough, um, you'll be fine. So stick sticking to the uh, tall grass from here, so you can see Hitler is walking towards the fence up ahead. I'm just going to keep an eye on the soldiers up here. Um, they don't really turn around at all, so that's fine. But uh, the one that I mentioned beforehand is closer to the tea house. Um, just keep an eye on him if you see him. So. At this point, I was thinking, oh, I could throw the um, bottle at Hitler right now, but uh, don't want to risk it because uh, he kind of moves a bit now and then. Uh, I'd rather do it when he's uh, actually on the uh, the bench to the right, so a bit more, a bit, cl sorry, a bit closer. Uh, it makes it a bit more easier. So okay, I don't see any soldiers there yet, so that's fine. He's just enjoying the sights, by looks of things. Okay, now it's going to make his way to the bench. Come on. <laughs> there we go. He's going to read a book, I believe. So they aim the bottle at his head. Down he goes. Target's down. Now they get the hell out of here before they put the whole place in lockdown. I'm sure there's a joke in there about him dying from the bottle or dying from drinking too much. You know what I mean. <laughs> 